PC fans. This is JR369. Welcome back for another brand new video review. Today I'll be taking a look at the DC Collectibles Arrow Malcolm Merlin by DC Collectibles. Now I'll take a look at the packaging here. You see the window that exposes the figure and the accessories. You get the um the name Malcolm Merlin on the side. And uh, he is number 12. You get the arrow logo there. Which I actually like to show anyway. I only saw the first season. One day I'll continue the other seasons. Including the CW shows. I mean hey I need to get the shows back on. Like a series of Unfortunate Fans. Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, the Walking Dead. And other shows including Pawn Stars. And also that new season of Doctor Who. And you get the DC Comic Collectibles logo here. Warning Choking Hazard. Uh, nothing much on the... The other side, and also you get the in the background, the window, you see the the like the buildings, you know, Oliver Queen's hometown. On this side here, you get the image of the figure instead of the um, actual image of the um of the actual character. I do have like the Felicity Smoke figure, and it shows the actual character image from the show, which looks you know the actress who plays her. And on the back, you get three figures from this line. You get Arrow. For, this is from season three. I don't. Well, basically, the one the I seen the first season where he's wearing like this. Um, he puts a marker on his eyes. I mean, it's really strange. Like where where a superhero puts a a marker or paint on the eyes to hide their identity. Why would they do that? Maybe the mask might be a better idea. And you can also get Black Canary. People say this is actually Laura Lance Black Canary. I, like I said, I don't, like I say, I didn't continue watching the Arrow films, the Arrow show. I may or may, I may be continue on when I get to other shows I need to finish on. And also you get Malcolm Merlin, of course, there's AKA the Dark Archer. So that's about it for the packaging. Now let's release Malcolm Merlin out of the package. Here we got Malcolm Merlin, AKA the Dark, the Dark Archer out of the package. Now let's take out the accessories. Well, I'm going to leave the bow and arrow on him because I took I used hot boiling water to to open up the something that the hands and put it on the bow and arrow. I mean, without the hot water, it's pretty much stiff and makes you want to break the bow with the bow. Now, I'll take a look at the head scope here. The likeness to John Barrowman, you know, the guy who played Jack Harkness from Doctor Who. I mean, it kind of looks like him, I think, a little bit, maybe, or maybe not. I can definitely kind of see him from sides to sides, but from the front, looks nothing like, I mean, it kind of looks like him. I mean, now, the hair skull, but it's pretty much, you know, just a John Barrowme looking. Now, I'll take a look at the outfit here, nothing much on it, just a usual brown outfit there. Get a little black, get a little black um clothing on here. You get a little black, whatever that is, and you get the black straps on the um the bows holders. You can see the little silver pieces on the belt, including the buckle that's colored in silver. You can see some of the silver buttons on the um the figure, including the arrows that are molded in. You can see one. There's a one hole for. For the arrows, you can put one arrow here, and also you get the little silver belt belt buckle there, and also you get the little holes for the buckles, and you get a little silver pieces there. Nothing much on it. You get one hand holding like the bow, I mean the arrow, and the other one holding the the bow, and you get the little soft material, whatever these things are. You get a little protector, or whatever. Uh, nothing much on the legs. You get the wrinkles, crease wrinkles on the legs, and the boots. You can see some of the straps on the boots there. You get the little zippers on each of the boots. You get the, some molded shoelaces there. You get the gold paint on it there. On the bottom, there's nothing much except there's legal crap and pegles on the bottom of the feet. Overall, I gotta say the figure looks not bad. You know, I don't like about the figure is where he stands really weirdly. Because of, because you see one, one leg is 
higher, the other leg is lower, makes him like that, makes it like he's limpy. All I like to do is like you just bend one leg there and that's about it. Now overall, I, I do like the figure, basically. I really wish the head sculpt gone a little bit more better. Now for articulation, head can go fully rotate, it's hindered by the bowl joint. Arms go fully rotate, go far and back, in and out. Bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow. Wrist can rotate and hinge. Waist can rotate. Legs can go forward and back, in and out. It's hindered by the, um, the rubber coat. Bend at two points at the knee and he could kick himself in the behind and his ankle can go pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side now for accessories he does came with two accessories he does came with the the bow you know his dark archer bow he has a real elastic bend here which is a nice touch to it and also he does came with this arrow on him which is really strange how this figure came with the green arrow Green Arrow's Arrow. Oh. I mean, it's just... It's actually Green Arrow's Arrow. Because it's not the Dark Archer's Arrows. You know, his are black. And Green Arrow's are green. But does fit on his... um This other hand where two fingers are open. Are opening up. There we go. Now you, all you do is like you just put like the uh, put the hand there. Hold on, let me do this off camera. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. There. And there we go. Here we got the Dark Archer ready to aim and fire. I mean, it. I to be honest, I think this figure looks really well done. I really wish the head scope gun gone a little bit better, making more like looks a lot like John Barrowman instead of like side to side. But hey, the figure itself is okay. I like it a lot. Not bad looking figure. Really decent figure. Now for my rate on this figure, I'm going to give him about a 7 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified new videos after you subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both the links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is JER369 and goodbye.